Brian Gillespie with Indoor Air. Today we're going to talk about heat exchangers, what's important and what's to think about when you're having your furnace clean. Okay. What we have here is your typical modern 80% furnace. This one happens to have one, two, three, four, five burners, so it's got five heat exchanger cells. The heat exchangers sit inside the furnace just like this, and that's what separates the burner, the open flame, from the air that circulates through the house. The household air circulates in between the heat exchangers. The burner goes in here, the flames go through, hot gases go up the chimney. Now when we do a heating clean and check, what we're really doing is looking at this heat exchanger. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and zoom in <coughs> on this crack. These cracks are what we're, we're actually looking for. They, they can happen just from daily wear and tear. The heat exchanger gets hot, it expands, contracts, as it heats and cools, it finds weak spots. That crack is almost two and a half inches long. This was the reason for this furnace to be replaced. Now, when we look at this one, this one, the only way we found these cracks is to actually remove the heat exchanger. But most of the time, we either look in here with a camera, a uh, mirror, and a flashlight to find these cracks. So when you have your heat exchanger checked, either with a service call or a cleaning check, that's what they're looking for. That's the, the, the cracks that we're describing. It's kind of hard to tell when a technician says your heat exchanger is cracked. You're trying to think about what's this mysterious thing inside the furnace. Well, this is it. And that's the last stand of defense between that open flame and the air that circulates through the house. So when you have a cracked heat exchanger, you can do one of two things. A, if it's under warranty, you can have it replaced. Unfortunately, the labor is not covered. Most situations are between $600 and $1,000. This heat exchanger actually came out of a furnace very similar to this. We just ended up replacing it. These cracks are pretty bad. This was just from neglect. Never having the furnace cleaned and checked. Never replacing the filters. The filter when I got there was plugged solid. The air conditioning coil that sits on top of the furnace was plugged solid with dirt and debris. All these things decrease the airflow, increase the heat of the furnace, cause cracking. So it's a good thing to have your, your furnace cleaned and checked on a regular basis. Thank you.